Hello, everybody. Cyanesque 111 here, and welcome back to Civilization VI Leader Pass as Chin the Unifier of China. Sorry, it took me a moment to figure out what I was going to say. Uh, we have our fifth settler right here, and we are about to settle a bit too close to the unknown for comfort. But hopefully Norway won't mind if it has no cities along here. Which they... Which I kind of doubt they will, because this is mostly just desert. Uh, which dedication do I want to go for? Let's do Free Inquiry. I get a... I get an error score for every time I trigger a Eureka, and... I still have yet to own two galleys. I think I still have a galley right over here. Yep, there it is. And I have another one being produced in Cheyenne. So that means I am en route to boosting it. Quite good timing, if I do say so myself. And yes, we've seen that before. We're in the medieval era. Looking like the only thing I can build here for now, at least on the flat surfaces, are, are Great Wall Connections. But I see some hills right here, and I'm thinking maybe there could be some strategic resources here in the future, as soon as I have the proper research unlocked. Maybe some nitre or uranium. Look at Indonesia. Spreading Hinduism. Even though that's how it wouldn't work in the real world. I know that. I don't want to go into too much detail about it. I don't want to offend anybody who may be watching this. Oh. Saladin wants to... Give me some gold in return for some iron. Uh... Sh sure, why not? He doesn't want any... He doesn't want me to open the borders to him. For him to travel through, and... We are quite a... We are quite a ways away from him anyway. So... I think he should be safe. Oh, what's this? Your promise fulfilled. Okay, so the promise I made to the Spanish Empire to stop settling nearby has been fulfilled. Well, that's good, because I don't plan on settling near them anytime soon. Because... Well, mainly because there isn't enough room between us. Uh... I do have a victory plan in mind, and... A theater square. I'm gonna add another rub here, just in case. Honestly, haven't been keeping track of which luxuries I've been having duplicates of throughout this game, so I don't think that's gonna matter to me. One thing that I am hoping that's going to happen soon is that is that I need an actual new leader that isn't just a reskin of an old one. Um, what's this? World Congress has awarded you one diplomatic victory points. Or point to proper grammar. Use it wisely. Um, I want to go for a culture victory this game. Okay, I have eight domestic tourists, but 
I need to have more visiting tourists than the highest number of domestic tourists another player has to earn it. Build improvement. Mine. And it's all mine. Who knows? More resources could happen here. Where I just built the mine. Okay, my gallery... My galley, I meant... Ooh. Who'd we just meet? Well, look who we have here. An actual new leader from the leader pass. Sundiata Keita of Mali. So nice to see that you aren't Masa Musa. A leader that I probably met in a previous YouTube playthrough of Civilization VI. It's way over there. It's a far cry. Even farther than Arabia. From where I'm at. And with that, my settler has arrived. I'll go ahead and found my next city, which is going to be named... Jiaodong. Cool. Great name. And I gotta have it produce something. Uh, since I promised that I would go for a culture victory, I'll need to get a theater square in here. Somewhere... How about here? I still got room for an aqueduct to build here if I so choose. Gitarsha wants me to leave the exploring to Indonesia. Mm. And Sundiata is happy that we are part of the same secret society as he is. I think that would be the Owls of Minerva. Yeah, I don't care. I think that would be the Owls of Minerva that we're in. If I go into the governor's menu, yep, we are. I can advance to Ritual, because I've seen the icon over here for it. I cannot imagine any condition which would... Yep. That's shipbuilding boosted. I'm gonna have it auto-explore once again. Okay, so that allows all land units to embark. Maybe I should try building a wonder. Oh, but then that would overlap with the great wall I had built previously. Uh... Okay, it's overlapping a Great Wall, it's overlapping with stone, and it's overlapping a marsh too, which is providing three food every turn. I think I'm gonna wait to build a Wonder, and instead... I can't build an Aqueduct because of that Great Wall. I mean, I could, but that would just remove it. I'm gonna... I'm going to do campus research grants for now. Okay, I can get a, another theater square in Beijing. Okay, so I won't be removing anything if I build a campus dis uh, theater square district right there. Uh, construction or mathematics? I'm going to do construction. If I work towards it, then I risk missing out on the Eureka for building a water mill. That is building a water mill in any of my cities. But I think there are other Eurekas I've seen that could be easier for me to get at this point in time. Uh, 
I just need ten more iron before I get my first swordsman. Require twenty iron to upgrade though, which I don't have yet. Nice animation there. I'm thinking about settling one or two more cities down here beside Muscat. If I settle down here, then it would give me a chance to get some iron. Some additional iron into my stockpile. If I settle down here, then I would get much more land compared to if I settled down here. It's gonna be a while before I make a final decision on that, though. Hope you'll understand where I'm coming from with this. Those who in quarrels. can't even build a water mill at this point in time because because the turns needed to produce any of these are going to be more than the turns required to complete this research so not going to go for the water mill this time I still want to get Muscat on my good side. I don't think any of these other civilizations hate my guts yet. Officially, at least. But I don't want to lose my Caesarean status of Muscat. Okay, plus one amenity in cities with a commercial hub district. Yeah, that is quite a bad Caesarean bonus. But at least I'll be happy knowing that I can get additional gold for every commercial hub and every building in it as well. I think I'll put... I don't have any... I haven't discovered any cultural city-states yet, which is kind of a bummer. I think I'll put an envoy in Geneva for right now just to get a little additional boost to science per turn. I think that's a new city I'm seeing right here that Norway has settled, Hamar. It looks new given that it only has two population. I don't know how many cities either Spain or Norway have settled up to this point. But I'd better be keeping a close eye on them in case they decide to attack each other. Or worse, me. I've got a good stream of gold coming in, but wouldn't be a bad idea to get a commercial hub in one of these cities as soon as I can. Which probably isn't going to be for a while. Just a quick word of uh, heads up. So that's 20 iron in my stockpile right now. That means I can have my very first swordsman unit. 
my next turn is gonna come up. Rumor has it that Uckland has just declared war on Spain. Well, not my problem. What good is iron? Why, swordsmen, of course. I just gotta wait for there to be 18 more before I can upgrade this one into a swordsman. Ooh. My kingdom is not yet rich. Perhaps my grandchildren may make it so. But we send you lamb in peanut butter stew that we call Tigua de Gena. And a leopard skin chair to sit upon while you eat. That's luxury, I tell you. Even though I kind of feel bad for the leopard that had to be killed to make the skin. Really bad. Look at Spain. Spreading Catholicism to my civilization. I don't think my civilization has any majority religion in it at present. Yeah. Nope. China's not showing up in any of these, so... In terms of preventing a religious victory, I should be okay on that for a little while. And... How long does it take for a theater square district to... Okay, nine turns. Okay, get a plus one culture bonus from district adjacency. But that's gonna remove a portion of the Great Wall. I think I'll build it right here and see what kind of district I want to build in this spot. Yeah, this spot. But it's got hills, so there could be something underneath it. I'm not sure about that yet. It's got to take a few more technologies to be researched. Oh, it looks like there's some slaughter going on. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's looking unsafe to... The heart. It's looking unsafe to settle down here for the time being. Okay, military engineering, that's going to get us a niter resource. It's going to at least get it to appear on the map. Then I can have any builders I train go seek out that niter and build a mine over it. The fighting continues below us, to the south. They won 8 iron for this kind of gold and open borders. As tempting as it sounds, I'm gonna refuse it. Sorry that I have to shame you, Jeff Armin. Ooh. Theodora of the Byzantine Empire. Honor to meet you, ma'am. Let us show you our empire and its delights. 
which is code for exchanging information on capitals, which I will happily do. Oh. That's uh, just another city-state. Brussels. Of Belgium. In case you didn't know that. And suffers only. We got theology. Now the only thing I can do is defensive tactics. What kind of Eurekas can I get? Build three mines, opt a government with six inherent policy slots. Build three different specialty districts. I promised myself I'd get a commercial hub to get a larger intake of gold. So... As much as I hate sacrificing chances for a second Great Wall, I think it's the right thing to do. I don't get an adjacency bonus for it, but at least I'll I'll still have a shot at getting whatever's under these mountains. Or hills, as this game calls it. These are the mountains right here. Gotta remember that. Next envoy I get, I'm definitely putting it in Muscat. Oh, but Theodora's not very impressed by us being in the Owls of Minerva. Nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. Fighting still continues down here. Near the iron resource, too. Maybe I should go down and help Muscat out. There's a chance that the Rock Vulture clan could become a city-state. But that's not for another 50 plus turns. So there's... there's still plenty of time. There was a withering drought up here, which I never even knew about. I don't even have that part of the map explored yet. Nor will I be exploring that place for quite a long time. I think I'm gonna go ahead and play until this Theater Square District is complete. Then I'm gonna go ahead and call it a part. I'm coming up on 15 minutes into this recording session. And part at that. Sixteen iron and thirty diplomatic points for... Well, given... Judging by the name and the author of this great work, it might... It might have actually originated from China, but... 
And it is tempting too, but I don't think I want to sacrifice any more iron or diplomatic or diplomatic points or diplomatic favor. What am I saying? Whew. Look at Seville's population compared to Cheyenne. And Cheyenne's my capital city, while Seville is not. It's kind of crazy. I know. Something's not happening. Okay, so that means I just discovered the more science intervene first. Oh boy, look at all this niter nearby. So maybe I was mistaken about niter being found in hills of of these tiles. Apparently they can be found on flat land, contrary to what I believed at first. Looks like this is going to provide me with a lot of niter buffer. Uh, yeah, screw it. Let's just let's do mathematics. I've got a third specialty district type going, but it's not going to be completed for a while. So I think it would be a good idea now to sacrifice the three different specialty districts, Eureka. And speaking of specialty districts, Theater Square, one turn left until complete. Completion will come now. There we go. Oh, so that was the third unique specialty district. What else did I build? Okay, I know there's the campus district. Oh, the, the holy site district in Cyan. I completely forgot about that. Well, with the first, well, with my first, Theater Square District completed in Cheyenne, and the one in Beijing not too far behind it, and the one in Xiaodong still far behind. I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it apart. It's, it's hard to believe that it's almost 29 minutes into this part, but I should be proud of myself for how dedicated I am with completing this run of Civilization VI, Leader Pass. We finally met two leaders coming from the Leader Pass that aren't just reskins of old leaders with different agendas. And boy, do I need to go to the bathroom. So, until I'm ready to continue, and until I have done my business, shall we say, Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Bye!